phones. No, I didn't forget. I just kind of forgot and was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to let that happen. Yet I just kind of forgot and was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just So there you go. Whoa. Hello? There you go. Whoa. Okay. So that'll all be going. And let's do this now. Let's go. At everyone. Um. Starting off with. Born from a wish, Silent Hill 2, and ending with Resident Evil 4. I must wrote three, but we've already done four. Just ending with Resident Evil 4. All right. Post. Exit out. And click this. Move this here. Change from three to two. Full boot. Switch to PC. Minimize, boot that up. I forgot to check if this comes with a widescreen patch. Oh well. Bop. And action level beginner. Y'all already know. No puzzle difficulty. I guess that wasn't introduced yet. When I woke up, I was all alone. Everyone's gone. Is it because of those monsters? What do I do now? Do I fight and live? Or do those monsters get me? I don't have any reason to go on living. Born from a wish has no puzzle difficulty. But Okay. Welcome, mate. I'm scared to die. How you doing tonight? I'm so afraid of pain. Should I run away? I want to find somebody. I don't like being alone. But... But is there anyone left alive? Okay. Start this off. No, I've never even seen this be played. I got revolver bullets. I got revolver bullets. So I have no idea what happens here. I think this takes place before Silent Hill 2, which I barely remember. Uh, to my knowledge, 2, 3, Origins, and Downpour have puzzle difficulty. I might be wrong with the Origins. Okay, so it's just born by a wish, born from a wish. So are there no puzzles then? Just the pew pews. Hopefully this controls the same.
it's weird how much instantly better this game feels. After playing three. Uh, it'd be better if Twitch wasn't buffering. It's like an exchange. You get quality options, but you're gonna buffer your shit. I mean, I'm not even... Yeah, I don't, I don't even, like, change the settings, so... It's real weird that always happens. That door's locked. I guess we're coming back here. I wonder if it's possible that the reason Silent Hill is so shitty and all the locks are broken is because no one actually lives in it. I got a Chinese cleaver and a first aid kit. Yeah, it's like weird how much better this game instantly feels than 3. I don't actually know where I'm going, though, is the one part. Let's go to Bolarama. Oh, I'm... Mm, never mind. <laughs> uh, other than that, I ate cookies and watched Willy Wonka for the first time in six years. The, uh... Yeah, the, uh, the original, not the Tim Burton one. Which I guess is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but... I pretty much think of them as the same... I wonder which one's closer to the book. I'll have to ask Pache about that. What kind of cookie? So it's kind of weird to see a line figure without, uh... Without seeing, um... Without hearing it first. It almost makes me want, uh, think they should prob probably get rid of the radio entirely. Uh, I think the last time that uh, I saw that movie was when my mom got it on DVD. What the shit is that? Since we can't hook the VCR to the TV. Milano. Unfamiliar. Oh, are those the ones that are like wafer cookies on top with like chocolate on the bottom? Yeah, not a whole lot. Like, I don't know where I'm going, but it's also a pretty on-rails area so far. I think I hear something out in the distance. But it's probably another line figure. Hmm. Okay. Interesting.
I have to say the uh, droning blomp sounds are a lot more pleasant to the ears than Silent Hill 3 is just random screeching also. So, okay, do we want to go left or up? Orange Milano cookies. Okay, see what we got. Oh, all right, I was half right. I thought they were like that, but there was just chocolate on the bottom. It's two cookies with a chocolate filling. Okay. All right. See, I don't I don't eat cookies very often. Uh cuz the the cookie-ness of it hurts my teeth. So Uh, so I mostly just know the basic cookies, like sugar and chocolate chip and Oreo. I'm a real big Oreo fan. Eat the shit out of some Oreos. had a Oreo cereal recently. They make that. It was like Mega Stuff Oreo cereal. And I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty good. If it wasn't so bad for you, I definitely keep eating it. There's like this sour gummy candy thing my dad eats. He says it hurts his teeth, but it's too good. Yeah, you got to watch on that. Yeah, I'd probably eat a lot more chocolate chip cookies if it didn't cause horrible pain. But, uh... But yeah, I like Oreo cereal, and it is pretty fucking good, but it is, I guarantee you, the worst thing possible for you, so I don't want to make a habit of eating it. Um... But okay, that's a dead end. All right, you got me. You got me, Silent Hill. You've got me. Where do you want? What do you want from me? But yeah, it, like makes the milk Oreo-y too. Like it tastes more like Oreo milk than uh, than the actual cereal tastes like Oreos. I don't like cereal. It's wet and gross. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, oh, ground blood. Random ground blood. Um, should I be following the random ground blood? I ain't got nothing else going on. Nope, that is also a dead end. I like oatmeal, which is a type of syrup, but it's like infinitely better. You know, I'm also a fan of oatmeal, to be honest. I like both. Um, I eat, locked, uh, Cheerios, because it's good for you, and I'm lame like that, and I eat only stuff that's healthy, all the time, forever. That was a lie. <laughs> uh, especially... <laughs> Just like, because I just got done saying, yeah, sorry, so I tried some oat, uh, Oreo cereal. Um, but I fucking love Oreos. They also hurt your teeth. But I kind of link up with your dad on that, with like that gummy snack, where it's like, you know, sometimes it's fucking worth it. What I like to do is I like to get the Mega Stuff Oreos, and then I like to, t uh, like, take them in half. And the, like, stuffing's not always super good on those Mega Stuffs. So you can, like, stack in the stuffing of, like, two or three or 17 Mega Stuff Oreo cookies to create what can no longer be called a tower. Because at that point, it's more cream than, than cookie. But you can just create this tower of cream with which to um, poison your body with. Mmm! 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 
Okay. Well. Turbo time. It's like hitting the sprint button in a video game. It's just like, oh, okay, well, we're done with that. Uh, okay, yeah, I have absolutely no fucking clue. Maybe I missed something back where I started. Like, I didn't check all the buildings or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow it up your ass. Okay. She seems to be very determined to go somewhere. For someone who just left her house and was like, well, don't want the monsters to get me. Okay, no, I definitely had to leave this building. What does this game want from me? Game, what do you want? It probably wouldn't have let me leave. If there wasn't something to do? Out here? So I've got to be missing something. Saw this video of an angry old uh, white woman having what can be best described as a mental breakdown, but they replaced whatever they were saying with the zombie sounds from Call of Duty. Oh, shoot. Now I kind of wonder what the original was, though. I have no fucking idea where to go. I've clicked on everything I can find. You gotta get to the other side. The other side of what? There is one area with a locked door. But it's not like I have a key or anything. One woman was banging on a glass door and started licking the glass, and I kind of want to know the context. Okay. Sounds like they really wanted them Oreos. That car's just in the middle of the street. Yeah, 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 whatever. Doesn't matter how dangerous you think you are, you're not more terrified than how lost I am right now. Nope. No. Locked. 
left, okay. This is a great way to start a stream right now. Alright, we're doing Born from a Wish. Where the fuck do I go? Wait! We did it! We found it! I'm a champion! Good girl, you can step on me, Marie. Uh, if I find the video again, I'll put it in Discord or something. Okay. Dead. <sighs> really makes me want to know that. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. All right, I've entered into the Spencer Mansion. How fitting. Broken, my kind of lot. Broken also. All right, I'm, I'm really into this. Cool. Oh, more bullets. And then, and then if I remember this random ass red paper is how you save. I'm sorry, 21 minutes? Okay. Fireplace is boarded off. Do not use his written on it. Hey, there's a map. Baldwin House map. I assume this is going to be where the meat and potatoes is. Uh, it wasn't as hard to find as I thought it was going to be. There's some background music, so proceed with content ID caution. All right, so let's go ahead and mute. It's not like Silent Hill's playing any bangers right now anyway. What the fuck? Okay, that's fucking weird. Uh, alright, let's get back to the Spencer Mansion. Tell me if I forgot to unmute. Okay, a lot of broken locks. Maybe this won't be the meat and potatoes of this um, playthrough. Okay, I think we now have enough bullets to kill God again.
Okay, that one's actually locked, which is interesting. Oh, I wasn't expecting a cutscene. Is somebody there? Did it just fucking rule of rose me? Open up. Hello? Stop it. You're disturbing me. Oh, there's an actual person in there. <gasps> Thank God. I finally found somebody. Can you open the door? No. But why? <sighs> Is it really necessary for me to answer all your tedious questions? Yes. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. Now you do. You I didn't know, now know. you know. Other people just irritate me. I just want to see another human face. Do you know what's happening in this town? There's no one here. Just monsters. Yes. I know. So what? It has nothing to do with me. No one here means there's no one to disturb me. This guy sounds like he was voiced by a text-to-speech translator. You want to be alone in this insane asylum? Yes, exactly. But how can you say that it's this town that's insane? Perhaps it's we who are insane. Both of us, hopelessly insane. Are you satisfied? Would you leave me alone? My name is Maria. What's your name? Ernest. Hemingway? Baldwin. Ernest? I'll be back. Please don't be. Alright, so we found Ernest. Found context for one of them. The woman yelling in the bookstore is an actor performing a stunt. She dressed like Annie Wilkes for Misery and is looking for a fictional book. Oh, okay. Oh, God. What the fuck happened to my brain there? I thought I was, like, closer to the camera for some reason. I got a whiteboard. Cool. I can use that to write on, I guess. The rest I have no clue, considering most were filmed on cell phones. I'll assume nothing good. Yeah, probably just crazy people, yeah. The the last one, where the woman licks the glass door, looks like she got kicked out of a bar, and she's throwing a fit about it. And the guy is barring her entrance to the bar. Locked. Okay. Interesting. White metal board with a squeeze holes punched into it, found in the second floor hall. When the white board is found, I shall uh, dedicate this thing. O oh, spirit of the mist, grant us fortune eternal, is written on the back. Fucking what? The only idea I have is, one, some dumb painting because it's Silent Hill, or two, the 
shower. Because showers create mist. Oh. Okay, that's convenient. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll work. For some reason, there's a ladder in the fireplace leading up. Along the way, I can see something that looks like a hole. Climb the ladder? Yeah, where else am I gonna go? Okay, I'm on a roof garden, I think. I got a red board, and I got, I assume, a black board? When the Dark Grail is found, I shall dedicate this thing. You who deny death, grant us fortune eternal. No official word on uh, what dub is going to be on the Evangelion Blu-ray. Some say the new one. Unlikely. Others, Netflix. Or both. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be Netflix. It'll probably be just Netflix. When the crimson words are found, I shall dedicate this thing. O oh, you gods, deep in slumber, grant us fortune eternal. Okay, I have a bunch of boards now. There's a square depression in the center of the tombstone, and above that is a carefully carved epitaph. Along with you died joy, all that remains is despair, and a future of meaningless tomorrows. But I will never give up, one to see your beautiful smile again, one to beg the blessings of the gods I await for that day. When the boards cover all the sadness, two will be covered until my dreams return to reality. I will have to swallow all the pain. There's a key firmly embedded in the stone depression. No matter how hard I try, I can't get it out. Fuck Gundam Seed. Okay. Oh, I don't fucking know.
The original Gundam Seed dub was only an option on the expensive special, but do you think it will include Fly Me to the Moon? No, of course not. Of course it won't. Hmm. Okay. The dub is already given, but do you... Oh. Okay. I got it. Funny thing is, I don't think Fly Me to the Moon is that expensive a song to get. I hear it in movies and even commercials all the time. Yeah, but then they'd have to get it, so. Also, they may need to pay multiple times for each iteration of the song. I'm not sure. Really? Okay. Okay. All right. I see how this is going to go. I see how this is going to go. Do I have to put them in a specific order? Because the white one's the pain in the ass. Shit. As set out, the Blu-ray will have the director's cut versions of episode 21 and 24. The Blu-ray will include the recap half of Death and Rebirth, which is all the director's cut shit in it. Okay. 
All right, I'm pretty sure the black one goes first because I think it represents her death. And then, honestly, it's very confusing. But I th assume it's the white one second because it represents her... Yeah, no, the black one can't go first. The black one can't go first. Because... Okay, well, I didn't need the answer. All right. Interesting. Oh my god, I just told you not to do that. God fucking... This puzzle is annoying to exit out of. You should have said that when you asked if it went in order, and I sat there trying to remember the order. Well, I, I didn't think you were going to tell me the order. That was more of a external musing of, huh, is there an order? Let's try that. I'm not confident that's going to work. You didn't tell me the position, that is true. Oh, okay. Hmm. I hate this fucking whiteboard. The white one's the one that fucks me up every time. I don't know if that one's possible. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, actually, hang on. Hang on. Because only the first one can't be rotated. Thank you. 
Damn it. Hmm, no. No. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, all right, I'll try this, but I don't think this is going to work. Hmm, definitely not going to work, because it's not how I wanted to shove that in there. And then I don't think this will work. It works. Yay. I figured it out. All right. That was a fun puzzle. Fuck that whiteboard. It's always them whiteboards keeping us all down. Oh, I think I actually have seen this played. Does she not just use keys? Oh. Okay. I tried talking about Silent Hill today. Ended up uh, people uh, bitching that PT never got made. I am skeptical PT would have been a good game.
Bam! Acacia key. Acacia was the wood used to make uh, Noah's Ark. It is also the ugliest fucking uh, wood in Minecraft. Uh, Silent Hills would have been a terrible Silent Hill game. Bed for a small child. Matches. So I can kill a guy now. Shelves filled with fairy tales and other child's literature. I'm sure I've never read this, but this somehow seems familiar. Let's check the matchbook in case there's like a puzzle piece in it. Okay. Well, I don't even know what that is. Oh, no. oh, she fell out the window. Don't move her. What happened? That was startling. Kojima is a man who has long since lost any greatness he had. Yeah, he kind of got real pretentious. I can't see a thing. If only I had a light. God damn it. You know what is fucking driving me up the wall? Is they've reversed the menu button from this ca From this game to the last. Pile of junk from a spider web. It doesn't look like there's anything useful. Uh, this fucking candle just switched tables. No? Nothing? Okay. Pile of junk from the spider web. Doesn't look like there's anything... Ex Fuck, excuse me? There's something below the chair. Is this a birthday card? To my dearest daddy, happy birthday from Amy Baldwin. <sighs> so what the... So I guess I go talk to Ernest and I'm like, Hey, did you fucking kill your kid? Yeah, no, I got that game. I got that. Get, get out of here with your obvious answers to your puzzles. Fuck out of here, fucking dumb shit. I was talking to the mannequin, not the kid. The kid's fine. The kid can stay a ghost forever, I guess. Bam! Throw that door open. Unrelated, but in Downpour, there's a part where a tire swing, and when you turn the camera and the character uh, go away, the swing is replaced with a hanging corpse. If you do it again, it goes back to being a swing and so on. Yes, I did know that. Uh, I saw it in the uh, Nitro Brad review. Nitro Rad is the uh, only person I ever subscribed to based purely on their channel trailer. There's a book here. It looks like a plant encyclopedia. Acacia, a genius of evergreen tree of the Mimosa tribe of the pea family. Its tiny flowers are... We'll never find out what its tiny flowers are. Our yellow and white and grown clusters common varieties include the gum tree. The acacia tree is a potent symbol in many religions across the world. In Christianity, it represents the eternal life and mortality. In ancient Egypt, it represented purity and rebirth. While in ancient Babylonia, it was thought of as the tree of the goddess Ishtar and was used as a symbol of life. It was also a holy tree to the ancient Jews who built the sacred Ark of the Covenant from it and for whom it signified a peaceful death and a release from grief.
Hey, a shortcut. Some people would call that a waste of bullets. I think I have enough bullets to kill God. Vaz and a lion statue. Got no use for those right now. Shit's locked. Shit's locked. It's locked. Ooh, we're going to the service room. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I feel like the game made that hallway longer than it should have been. Two possibilities of sack with Silent Hill. Possibility one, he likes uh, four. Possibility two, he hates four and has the hot take Team Silent got lucky with an alright game and a great game. Place your bets next October. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, like, if we fire through these too fast, we might have to do next October this month. Or, or because I, or maybe we'll just go into Kingdom Hearts. Like, I don't know how long these games are going to take, but I was thinking, God, what if we get through them so, because we already, we already did Silent Hill 3, and I thought that was going to take way more time than it took. Although, I will say... I will say that I don't think they got lucky with Silent Hill 2. If it does just get worse from that point on, I think it's more like they lost... their touch. Resident Evil is decently long. Fatal Frame, I'm not sure. Because Silent Hill 2 built off of what was wrong with Silent Hill 1 very well. Uh, but I would say that the biggest issue with Silent Hill 3 was its writing. And it definitely took a step back mechanically. Maybe you can play I Don't Want to Get Raped Simulator 2005. What is... What, what would that be? I can't... I don't think I can play anything with uh, Haunting Ground. Oh... Yeah, uh, Haunting Ground's possible. These are all hypotheticals. We don't know how long um, Resident Evil is going to take us. So I'm not, I don't want to say this is what's going to happen. And even then, I might still decide to go on to Kingdom Hearts. But... So I don't, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. But I did consider... Fuck. We might get... Because the thing is, like, I had significantly smaller stream times the last two horror months. Uh, and this time, I get through, like, because stream times are longer, I get through the games way faster. And so I can't really... 
Like Silent Hill 3 probably would have taken three streams before. Yeah, I know I know you're not big into haunting ground. And we're at a Dongan Rampas. Which was how we ended the original horror month. Did that enemy respawn? No, wait a minute. Nope, okay, yeah, did that enemy respawn? The opening cutscene is you walking in an over-animated silk sheet. Yeah, Haunting Ground could be uh, interesting. Uh, if we do do that, though, we're going to go The Room and then RE5. And then I don't think going past RE5, like, I don't think once, if we do RE5, I doubt we'll have any more time for Horror Month. Lost Memories. I have the strongest trust. You may even call it faith in the miracle called Resurrection of the Dead. Upon the hill where the light descended, the beast atoned his song with words of blood, drops of mist, and the vessel of night. The grave become an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of Zuchilpaba did not waver. It is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but it was simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was reversible. There's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? What could it mean? Blood equals red. Mist equals white, night equals black. Oh, was I supposed to? No, because I needed the acacia to get through. And then I needed to get into Ernest's. Unless Ernest disappeared the second I went through it. Ew, I might have been able to get here quicker. I'd say Fiona is dressed decently until near the end where she loses her skirt and shoes. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Fiona's not a magical girl. Alessa won Fiona zero. Why do you ask? Fucking me checkmate. Th this letter. To my dearest dad. Oh yeah, but uh, a Hunting Ground it's would be great family. though, because evolved. that game was also like a prototype Resident Evil Can 4, right? Me? Along with Clock Tower 3. So that would be perfect. That would complete the trifecta of 4. Where'd you find that? Up in the attic. Maybe we'll do Haunting Ground next year. Oh. What a fool. No. It's too late. I finally understand why. <laughs> why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she... when she fell. Ernest. Amy. She isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been 10 years, but I still. 
Ernest. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. Maria? So, you must be... That's why... That's why you could see me. Huh? Huh? So, perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. I don't know exactly where it is, but I know it's in there somewhere. I must have it. You... want me to get it for you? Please. Why don't you just get it yourself? If I could, believe me, I would. But I... White? I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria. Did I get the rebirth ending? No, no, I got the water ending. Could I have even gotten the rebirth ending, though? Or is that a New Game Plus ending? Rebirth is the true Silent Hill 2 ending. I'm pretty sure water is the intended one. I can't pass through, it's blocked by a wall. That's a really weird way to bring... Rebirth is New Game Plus. Okay. That's a really fucking weird way to build a house game. According to some. Yeah, no, I did read that. I'm just, I'm just saying, I disagree with those people. I'm pretty sure water is the intention. Even though I don't think it's a very good ending. Well, okay. I don't think it's a very satisfying ending. I don't know if I would say it's a bad ending. Is there a monster in this room with me? Yeah, okay. Wasn't sure if that was a monster or a shadow. Anyway. <laughs> He said he was going to open the stairs. Oh, did fucking Silent Hill 3 have bloody footprints? I don't remember them. He said he will open the stairs. 
I don't remember locked stairs. Am I supposed to re-interact with his door so I can go just be like, Hey, Ernest, what's up, dude? And he's like, oh, not much, Maria. Yeah, so you're not a real person, right? And we'll be like, nah. But you're like a ghost or some shit anyway, right? And he's like, yeah. Rebirth, James reads about the old gods of Silent Hill and about the cult. He also learns of a ritual to bring back the dead after killing Marie. He's in a boat with Mary's body going to an island to perform the ritual. He says Silent Hill is a special place. Huh. Weird ending. Three head footprints if you step in blood. Okay. Here's the thing. I didn't fight anything in three. So I didn't notice. Mostly ran f away as fast as I could. Bathroom. Oh, nope. Shit. Hmm. Don't know where to go again. He said, get white vial. You think miracles really can happen? Nope, not what I wanted. This is Silent Hill. Yeah. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, Maria. You think too much. I'm from here. This is my town. Okay, so we have to figure out where to go. He said stairs. It's called reverse will, because if you back mask it, there's some stu uh, stuff set backward. Weirdly jazzy. Fun fact, Rebirth is the second I need to got in this game. Huh. Well, it is a new game plus any where you have to get a bunch of items, right? That does seem like yeah, that would be like the go-to on a replay. Ooh, the fuck is this white vial? Get rebirth, you can get dog. Nothing interesting about the fireplace. Where does he want me to go? I think I killed every enemy in the game.
to the apartments. Oh, he wanted me to go to an entirely different building? That explains why I couldn't find out where the fuck I was supposed to go. That's where James gets the vial. Okay. Well, let's go figure out where that is then. Okay, the apartments are right nearby. But how do I get in there? There doesn't seem to be any way to get into the apartments. Like, the door's locked. I'm gonna just look this shit up. I'm gonna just look it up. That's where I'm at now. The basement door. Okay, so it's inside near the basement door. Whatever the fuck that means. I feel like this would be a lot easier if I played this right after doing uh, Silent Hill 2, instead of like a year later. It's like once he finishes four or downpour and realizes he never has to stream them again.
I don't know, Shattered Memories could be interesting. Shattered Memories and Downpour are like a maybe list. But like, the first four are the ones that definitely need to be played. Because those are the ones that everyone say uh, says are the good Silent Hill games, and past that, you can stop. What about Homecoming? Yeah, what about Homecoming? Indeed. <laughs> uh, everyone says Homecoming and Origins and Zero are just... I've never heard anything good about any of those three games. Some kind of played on the floor, Amy Baldwin. She was loved too much by God. Seven years was not enough time. This is creepy as fuck. And there wasn't anything there. God, okay, see? No, look at that. That's fucking Silent Hill too. That's good. Just like that ambiance just pounding you in the fucking head and you're like, shit, what's around the corner? And then it's nothing. Really fucking milks you for that suspense. Conversely, that's a lot less intimidating. Keep out of the haunted mansion. Conversely? Inversely. I like the concept that there's a haunted mansion in Silent Hill. Like, who gives a fuck, dude? The whole place is filled with monsters and demons. And like, psychic manifestations of your own trauma. I feel like a ghost is the least of your fucking problems. If Homecoming wants you to know something, it's that you're a soldier. This cock block twice in my own game. Cowboy up, nerd. Time for melon farmers to pay the ferryman. That's an America fuck yeah moment right there. The top comment is the best part of this video. Wait a minute. Deadpool's Canadian. Fuck yeah, map of an apartment building. This is taking, like, way longer than I thought it was gonna take. Hi, you're very scary. How many bullets do I own? 77. 
Yeah, fuck it. Uh, it is not subtle about this at all. Alex's room is full of military posters, model tanks, and planes and shit. Best part is, Alex isn't a soldier. <laughs> that's- no, that's actually funny, then. That sound drives me fucking crazy. Lock. There's a note on the door. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand. I'm gonna go out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key's in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please go watch the place while I'm gone. He's a mental patient who thinks he's a soldier when in reality he was in the hospital for years. Oh, that actually reminds me of that other game uh, that we is that we could also maybe do, uh, where you're like a prisoner and you're a prisoner. I hear the first one's good. I hear the second one's a lot worse. Prisoner man. <sighs> Better take care of my promise to Ernest. So that is a door I got to that is useful for my purposes, but we're not at that part of the game yet. Alright, you seem to be really invested in fucking with me, so uh, fuck you and die? God, that fucking droning is so creepy. I am very unsettled right now. Is that just a dead body? Why is that? Oh no, that's a newspaper. It's a safe, but I don't know how to open it. Disgusting. Who'd shove their hand in that? Uh, there was one time when not being able to patch games was an improvement. Can we go over to the next apartment? Oh, nope. Uh, well, I don't know. Here's the thing. Game patching is a double-edged sword. On one hand, there used to be a bunch of games that would just get released fucking broken. Uh, and, you know, now they can be fixed. But on the other hand, it also kind of encourages developers to release games in an incomplete state and then patch them later. So I guess the same problem, but now they can fix it. You know what, in retrospect, all positives. Can I actually explore the first floor at all?
quick step on him. Yeah! That's why they call me One Shot Scott. Something written on the desk. Too dark to read. Don't I still have, like, a set of matches or something? What the fuck does that door even connect to? There's another patented Silent Hill door that connects to nothing. In Deathmark, part of the secret chapter was censored. In a scene where you are in a haunted sex hotel that was used for S&M torture and Satanism, you get a vision and relieve the ghost's final moments. She was bound with one of those things that holds a person's mouth open. It's called a gag. It's called a ring gag. Uh, and they drop a spider in her mouth. When patched, she's blacked out and the spider is made all white. But if you don't patch it... Aw, oh, man! Fucking ruined that scene. Is that on PlayStation? It sounds like only PlayStation would do that. Deathmark is a great game and you should totally play it. That sounds like a PlayStation thing. PlayStation's super into censorship. Now. Like, they, they're, they're caught, like, the PlayStation version of Omega Labyrinth Refrain is censored. But here's the craziest part. The fucking Nintendo Switch version isn't. Like, if you're out censoring Nintendo, fucking take a second, you know, step back and look at your goddamn life. Bitch. Do not care about you right now. I'm sorry, Zach. I'm not a knowledgeable person in the ways of S&M like Kinky Boy Zach. <laughs> well, maybe you should do a little research. Like I have. Extensive, long, hard, sweaty research. The game will not allow me to reach the third floor, which is interesting. I think the Switch version is also edited, but the PC version isn't. I'll look into it. I'm pretty sure the Switch version is completely... Well, I don't know if it's completely unedited, but it is less edited. than the, the, uh, Sony version. PlayStation. Oh, dude, this is a whole lot of me not knowing where the fuck I'm going again. Huh. <sighs> It's in room 105. Censored on everything, PS4, Switch, and PC. Oh, really? Oh, that's shitty. Is that true? Because I heard... Maybe I'm thinking of a different Omega Labyrinth game. Oh, I might not... I might be... Th I, think, I think I'm thinking of a different game. 
I don't know why I said Omega Labyrinth. Refrain. I'm think I'm thinking of Omega Labyrinth Life. I'm thinking of Omega Labyrinth Life. That was my fault. In my defense, I at least got the series right. Oh, you're talking about Deathmark. It was censored because the ERS ESRB claims it violates some rule against sexual content in M-rated games, and it would have gotten an AO rating. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I, I am wrong. It's not a lab Omega Labyrinth refrain. It's Omega Labyrinth Life that is censored on uh, PS4 but not on Nintendo Switch. Somewhere in here is a fucking white vial. Okay. That's what I thought, but then it wouldn't let me interact with it whenever I tried to click it. It kept interacting with the table instead. I, if it's on PC, there might be a desensor patch. Let me show you something too graphic for uh, ESRB CG. Okay. All right. Okay. That's interesting. Um Here is the thing. Though is I have to purge that message. Uh, uh just to be on the safe side because uh, Twitch has guidelines against AO ratings, and if that causes an AO rating, even if it is, and I will agree with you, fairly innocuous, uh, I don't want to take the risk. But yeah, no, I do agree, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's a lot tamer than, than you would expect. Like, God of War is more explicit, and so is that scene in The Last of Us. Uh, Deathmark is awesome. It has great atmosphere in OST. Last of Us 2, not Last of Us 1. I already got your white vial. Thank you, Maria. That's the only item I couldn't get myself. By the time I found out about it, I could no longer leave this house. So long. Yes, but will... Maria, the gods are here. You know it too. You were born in this town. I'm Raised sure in it. God is the right word. <sighs> D 
Do you believe in fate? Not really. That's fine, then. Ernest, can I open this? This is a dead end. There's nothing beyond here. I know. So, what if I had said I believed in fate? That James. He's a bad man. James. I don't remember who Ernest is. Does he appear in the game? something? Yes. Maria, you're... Anyway, that's just what you think. You don't really know anything. That's fine. Okay. He's a ghost! Ooh! What if she opens it? It's just fucking Pyramid Head. Okay, well, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't, maybe, maybe hold on, because there's monsters, so maybe, maybe don't just, maybe don't, maybe don't do that. Maybe go get that gun. Mm. That was, that was inadvisable, actually. <laughs> was that born from a wish? Mary?
No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? My name is Maria. Okay, so that was Born From A Wish. Um, it was... I mean, it added a little depth to Maria, but it wasn't great. Uh, my biggest complaint about it is I never felt like I knew where the fuck I was going. Like, right from the beginning, it just, like, kicks me out into, the, like, Silent Hill, and it's like, I don't know, figure it out. And then you have to figure it out, and then you have to wander randomly around a mansion for no real reason, and then Ernest is like, oh, I'm Ernest. And then you, like, have to awkwardly, like, you don't have any motivation, so you just awkwardly stumble on puzzles. And then he's like, oh, go, give me a white vial. Do it. And then you're like, cool. Go, I'll go fucking do that. And then you do that, and you come back, and then it ends. So, like, it adds something to her character, but I don't feel like playing it was fun. I always play Born From A Wish with a guide. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. I had to look up where to go. Like, not not so much, like, what to do, but, like, where, where generally to go. Because, and then even when it's, like, go to the apartment complex and get a white vial for me, and you're like, fine, whatever, dude. Like, it, it, it doesn't tell you where, so you just wander around a big fucking empty building fighting monsters. And then eventually you find the white vial, and they put the white vial on a table. And that table has an active, like, dialogue tag to it, so when you click on it, she's like, I don't know what to do with this fucking table. So, at first, so I did see the white vial a few times, but I'm like, well, I every time I click it, it just tell, talks about the fucking table, so I guess that's just part of the table. And then when I looked up the guide, and it's like, yeah, it's in room 105, and I see it, I'm like, well, that's gotta be fucking it, but it won't let me interact with it. So, I don't know, that whole part was finicky. So, it, it's like... And I don't feel like it adds that much to Marie overall, so it's definitely a skippable part of the game. I don't know. But we did it. And with that, I feel like we've definitely finished the Silent Hill 2 playthrough. So, I, I think... Like, I, I feel like n not doing that is a bigger problem than doing that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely glad it's done, because I feel like we've completed the experience now. Um, but it, it was not uh, good. Or great, or anything. I don't feel like it diminished Silent Hill in any way, though. Uh, or Silent Hill 2, I should say. I described Deathmark is a kind of point-and-click adventure, a visual novel kind of thing. Okay, kind of like an adventure game. Let's see, action level beginner, brittle level, ending level, clear level, five saves, uh, hour 26, 20 seconds, walking distance 6.66 kilometers, running distance 4.67 kilometers, items 57, that's an interesting art style, uh, defeated enemies by shooting one, I've definitely seen this trailer before, uh, defeated enemies by fighting, total damage zero. That's how you know I'm a fucking hero. Save clear data. Why not? Oh, God, that was so red for a second. That was painfully red. Okay, cool. So that's Silent Hill 2. So here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to... Thanks to you. Absolutely thanks to you. Uh, here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to... Obviously, we're going to close out of Silent Hill 2, because we're done with that shit. We're going to go on to Resident Evil 4, but to make it easier to upload onto YouTube, I'm going to uh, uh, briefly cut the stream, and then we'll, we'll just fire right into Resident Evil. So don't go anywhere. This will only take, like, a minute at most. At most, it'll take...